you have been scrolling tirelessly to find the right video on how to track any device location, how to access their camera or their microphone, and you haven't got any video yet, then be happy because this video is the right video for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that only by sending a phishing link. If you don't know what phishing is, watch this video right over here because I showed you exactly how to send a phishing email. Without further ado, let's go into the video. Now I want you to go ahead and open up your Kali machine and in your Kali machine open any web browser that you are using because we are going to use a tool called Stormbreaker and we are going to clone it from GitHub so open your web browser it can be Firefox, Chromium or anything that you're using. Once it's opened I want you to go ahead and type in for Stormbreaker GitHub. After that click on the first link that it will appear right over there and as you can see it is created by Josh Carr, whatever whatever so go over here on code then click on copy and after there you are done minimize this one open your terminal then right now you need to be a root user and if you don't know how to become a root user I want you to go ahead and type in sudo su now you're gonna need to put in your sudo password and after that you are a root user after you are root user I want you to change your directory to slash option or slash opt press enter and right here is the place where you are going to git clone your stormbreaker repository so you are going to write in git clone then you are going to paste in the stormbreaker link that you just copied from their site I've already git cloned this one it will take a while and after you've already git cloned everything there are some few things that you need to download as known that stormbreaker uses a python module to create everything that it uses so you are going to manually download some python packages first things first I need to go ahead and type in apt install python3 request python3 colorama and python3 psutil okay now every single one of this has its own role but before we move on I need you to go ahead and update your system so you're going to write in apt update and it will update your system it may take a while concerning your internet connection or your internet speed and also for how long you haven't updated your system something like that after you've already updated your system it is time we are going to install everything available in Stormbreaker. So I need you to go ahead and type in ls to see everything. And right now you can see the Stormbreaker right over here. So in Stormbreaker, I need to change directory to Stormbreaker. Then list everything that available in Stormbreaker. After that, if you see this install.sh, it is the one that you are going to install it. So go ahead and type in dot host slash install.sh. It may take a while. Well, right now it seems like everything is working. And if you get this error, peep doesn't work. In most cases, they just show this error, but nothing is affected. But if you see like there's something affected, you need to make a virtual environment, VENV, okay? By doing so, I want you to go ahead and download the Python virtual environment creator. And by that, you need to type in sudo apt install python3-vnv-y, okay? And by that, it will install the Python 3 virtual environment creator. After I've already installed it, I need you to go ahead and create your virtual environment. So you're going to use Python 3, then dash M to make, then VENV, -E and you'll name your virtual environment whatever you like. And in my case, I've named it VENV. -E okay and after that it will create your virtual environment and if you want to activate your virtual environment it's really easy go ahead and type in source vnv slash bin slash activate and in this case it will activate your virtual environment and here you can see this venv it has been displayed before your route slash username okay and after that you're going to use pip to install all requirements all right so you just type in pip install dash r requirements to txt and it will install everything i've already done this and if you already done everything right over here you are going to run stormbreaker by doing so you're going to use python3 st.py and then you press enter stormbreaker will run now you're almost there as you can see 
as you can see it needs you to run ng rock at port 2525 so by doing so if you do not have ng rock installed i want you to open your web browser to firefox or whatever go to ng rock main page ngrock.com but first of all i need to go ahead ng rock slash downloads to download it first of all it will automatically detect whatever operating system you're using. As you can see, I'm using Linux. And right here, you can go into the Downloads tab. Click on Download. I've already downloaded it. And you'll need to copy this link. After you copy this link, I want you to go ahead and open the new terminal. And in your new terminal, I want you to go ahead and become a root user, sudo su. Make sure you type in your password. And after that, I want you to go ahead and copy paste the link that you have just got into their website. All right. And this one will automatically start ng rock in your system like the file you just downloaded it will be started and after that i need you to close this one because you're already done with whatever thing they are telling you and uh, right now go into the ng rock main page to create your account you need to click on sign up or if you already have an account click on login now after you have already signed up or logged in into ng rock you scroll all the way down until you find your api key right over here all right now this is a configuration file i need you to click on this one to copy it and make sure you come back into your terminal right over here and paste it here this one will connect your ng rock account that you have just created to your computer what ng rock does it acts like a bridge between your local server and the internet all right so after that everything will be done and you can host your links online freely the links that are created by stormbreaker now in order to do that you are going to run ng rock via the port that stormbreaker have instructed you so i want you to go ahead and copy on this one ng rock http 2525 okay after you have copied on this one go back into your terminal with ng rock station and paste it here press enter and as you can see ng rock will open that port for you really easy really simple all right so right now all you need to do is go ahead and copy this thing right over here this link right over here it is the one that you will be using to access everything Go back into your web browser and after you're back into your web browser, make sure you paste it right over here and it will open Angerog Listener for you. Paste it right there. Visit site. And as you can see, Angerog is demanding you to log in and as known credentials or default credentials for logging in in sites like this it is admin admin so the username is admin and when you go at the password it is also admin when you press enter it will open it for you okay so as you can see here it is your listener and everything that's going on okay so right now when you copy paste any of this link into your device or take this link and send it to a person that you want to get maybe the camera or the microphone or get even the location this near you thing right over here means the geolocation there is no more data there is weather and many other stuff all right so what you need to do just take anything that you're using here for example you want to get for instance a camera okay just copy this one and make sure you go ahead into the device that you want to send it to and send the exact link if they click on it it is game over you activate their phone camera or if they're using a pc you activate their pc camera i'll show you that in action in then a moment so just wait so once you are in your device or any phone that you're using or anything like we are saying for instance this is your target's device and you go ahead and copy paste whatever link they gave you right now we are going to send for instance this is the link and you have already sent it via email or whatever spoofing sms attack or anything of the kind okay now the person goes ahead and click on the link and it will take him or her to this type of page now they'll be prompted with this kind of thing they'll just be asked do you want this site to use your camera okay most of the people just clicks on allow now let's say for instance you want to get the gps location 
you're going to use this link right over here with near you slash index.html and when a person clicks on that link and it will load for a while now here's the thing find people near you meet people whatever this is the site they'll be prompted with okay now they'll just click on continue after they click on allow this time when you come right over here in your Kali machine you can see everything all right from their ip address the name the version of the android okay you can go ahead the browser that they were using and the browser version it is right over here cpu name resolution everything time zone language number of cpu code all the things that you need they will be prompted right over here and it is super easy super simple so right over here the listener is running okay you can press right over here to stop the listener or you can stop again to start the listener you can go ahead and download the logs or you can go ahead and clear the logs so everything is simple beginner friendly if you know nothing at all it is easy you don't need to freak out so no code experience needed actually so thank you for watching that was it for today's video and if you want to watch exactly how to hack a windows 10 computer or any windows computer via .exe file or if you don't know that it's just like a normal made malicious apk click this video right over here it will take you there don't forget to subscribe like share it with friends and family and yeah till the next video cheers